Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Donruss Elite Football six box half case pick your team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these lovely people right here for getting into the action, into that elite football right there. Thanks for spending a bit of your Saturday with us. It's already the first of the month too. It's the first of the month. There's everybody right there. Oh, we got requests? So, okay. All right. What do we got here? <laughs> Tony wants a Henry Ruggs autograph. A Herbert auto for Sam. This, remember, Sean marked these four, so we know they're all from the same case. Hudson fan wants uh, wants the Jets. Dual pen pals auto. All right. I'll take my box. Whoa. You got new sneakers. I got new sneakers. Dang, fresh. I, I went on a sneaker shopping spree. Adidas. I got, I got three new pairs of Adidas shoes. Wow. Adidas? Team Adidas. Team Adidas. No, he's New, no, he's Balance. New Balance. Who's Adidas? James Harden. Harden, I think, is it still Adidas? Donovan Mitchell. All right. So if you look at the camera right there, you'll see uh, you'll see the Nick Cam. And he's going to help rip open some boxes. Let me actually expand that camera a little bit, so you can get a good look at what he's doing. And let's adjust the uh, let's adjust the white balance on that as well. Use that wall in the background to make that. There you go. So there you have it. And here we go. Eric Jennings, what do you request? A CD Lamb autograph. All right. So I think all these have their team names on there. So unless I run to a redemption, I think I should be able to figure out where everybody goes. Box of this? Yep. Donner's Elite Football. Did you hear Nick? He said they're available on Instagram as personal boxes. If you're like Joe, I don't do group breaks. You know, that's not my thing. I wish you guys had personal boxes so I can buy boxes individually and support Jaspies. You can. At Jaspies Breaks is our Instagram handle and our Twitter handle too. At Jaspies Breaks Instagram Live and on our website, jaspies.com. That's where you can find personal boxes, among other things. It sure did, Rory. That video, did I upload it? I better have. And uploaded already, Rory. We got hoops back. We got Clippers up 77 to 45 on the Clippers. Yeah, nice indeed. On the Pel Clippers over the Pelicans, that is. 77-45 at the half. Jets linebacker T.J. Mosley offs out of the season. Mosley is team's highest paid player. Matt Stafford on the COVID reserve injured list. He's either tested positive or was in close contact with someone who did. Eighth Detroit Lions player to be placed on reserve list. I guess the, all the two weeks. I mean. Ideally, yeah. Not ideally, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, yeah. if you're gonna get it, yeah. Get it before the season. Yeah. All right. There's Camara to three ninety nine. We'll sleeve and top load all of those before they go out. So, Nick, do you think football has to bubble it up? They got a bubble. They got a bubble, right? Three bubbles. Where are you gonna bubble? Oh, just a few different bubbles. Yeah, you have three or four bubbles, and you have to take breaks, two week breaks in between bubbles. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. Yeah. Right, because if so, someone yeah. gets it, you still have two weeks to yeah, recover. You, and yeah. Not a bad and idea. Plenty of time to test and plenty of time to trap. Seven out of 49, primary colors. So you have this, you know, this quadrant of teams in yeah. this bubble, and then a two-week layoff, and then they travel to the next bubble. All right, all right. Nick Chastity bubble idea. Wow. You heard it here first, folks. Robert Mike Dale, Williams yeah. going to Sam Rail and the Chargers. And... Veteran commons don't ship in this except for all. I mean, I'll pull Tom Brady's Buccaneers. I know those are a little. I mean, look at extra uh, special. No contact baseball a week at the Mets. Disaster. Right. And that's no contact. Right. You got to bubble it. Come on, Goodell. Bubble it. He won't. 
he'll be dumb. Or they should just do like a tournament or something. Yeah, Andre's you script. Know, change it up. Like, you gotta do something bubble. Like, don't do the season, just do like Pro Bowl or so something. We need football. Where do we bubble? I mean, is there is there any city that can sustain like multiple NFL teams at once? Well, There's a uh, Shaquille if, Barrett, Buccaneers. If Los Angeles Peter. wasn't such a hub for COVID, then I would guess Los Angeles, um, the Meadowlands, New Jersey, maybe. Um, it know, has to be. It's got to be a few stadiums. LA would be great because you would have SoFi, the Rose Bowl, and the Coliseum. Yeah. And you can still play at StubHub or at Home Depot or at Dignity Health Park, whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. There'd be four, like, professional-ready football stadiums right there. All within 30 minutes. Yep. But they wouldn't choose L.A. Yeah, they wouldn't choose L.A. Jalen Hurts. Le'Veon Bell to 99. And Tyler Johnson. On-card pen pals autograph. Blue ink. Arthur Nick was saying that we were saying, what's how, what's football going to do to to make the season happen? And I say it's got to be bubbles, right? But where are you going to bubble? Nick was saying, do like three or four bubbles. Huh? Have two weeks off in between a certain set of yeah, games. Yeah. You know, for travel and for whatever, just COVID protection. There's spellbound Cooper Cup. You know, and that'll that'll ensure like an NFL season will happen. Will Goodell do a bubble situation? Baseball's no contact, and they're already having issues. You know, so if you let NFL players just roam around, we've got to randomize these, by the way, folks. We'll go position one, two, three, four. Do a randomizer on that. But NBA's in a bubble. They seem to be doing all right. AHL's in a bubble. They're doing all right. Now, I know football has bigger staffs, bigger squads, and I know it's going to be a different challenge, but... I mean, if you're the NFL, you want to make a season happen, you gotta you gotta accept those challenges, right? But what if they were in a bubble, Arthur? There wouldn't if baseball was in a bubble, they wouldn't be able to go anywhere. Wouldn't be any problems. Man, Manfred, Rob Manfred, should have put baseball in a bubble, but didn't. They taught, they thought about it too. Oh, allegedly it was a player's? Well, then if you're Manfred, you force them in a bubble then. Yeah. Same for your safety. I don't think they wanted to play in Arizona in the summer heat. That's what I was yeah, I mean, that I, that I can see. With outdoor stadiums. I'm sure, they, I'm sure they could have figured it out. Yeah, they could have been like, well, if the players want to get paid and play this year, then you got to play outdoors. you got to suck it up. I'm sure there would be some fan company that could attach yeah. a fan to Saquon Barkley. Nice little mitts, Ooh, you know? Yeah. Or have one of those hats that has the beers instead. instead have little fans on there? Like strong, New York Giants. Strong, Caleb, Mark. Last Spot Mojo. Saquon Barkley, Swagger Dual Relic. Justin Herbert, 399. All of those will be sleeved and top loaded before they go out. That might just be uh, MLB rumors, though. All I know is that Roger Goodell has plenty of time to see what works and what doesn't work. Where else, where else would a good, uh, nice, DeAndre Swift, 58 out of 99, turn the century autograph for the Lions. Scott Goodman, little cat team mojo there. Orlando. Um, would, they, would they, Orlando have enough football stadiums? Disneyland, I'm sure they got plenty of fields here. Saquon Barkley is 74. I feel like would Seattle have enough team? They've got they've got colleges and a pro team there. It's like pro teams and a big college program. Maybe Dallas, Texas. Dallas, they have got pro teams and a big. Do they have college there somewhere. Maybe Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, somewhere where there are big college football stadiums. Whoa. I would just build it near college and be like, here's a new football stadium for you. <laughs> yeah, or you just pop up some, uh, some RVs. Every player has I mean, RV. if there's going to be no... There, if there's going to be no fans, right? So yeah. why not just plow a field and throw up some lights and and say, here's, here's some football. Don't screw it up, Roger. There's Gabriel Davis to 99. And points, 600 points right there. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. 
Everyone gets a shot at that, and we'll randomize it as one lot. There's another set of points, we'll just add it to that pile. There's Cameron Dantzler to 7.99, Nate Stanley to 49. Tua Tagovailoa to 3.99 and Tom Brady and Chase Young for the Washington football team. I guess still Redskins in this set. Jerry Bennington with the Redskins. Someone was saying in the chat earlier. I don't know if this is true. I find it kind of hard to believe that Panini's recalling products to take out the Redskins name. I wouldn't doubt it. NFL's probably making a pool. Oh, NFL's probably making. Uh, yeah. NFL Shop and all those had to kind of pull all of their merchants. Jerry with the Washington football team. <laughs> They'll just have some intern. Yeah. Just do that. Just put Sharpie over everyone uh, over the Redskins name. Yeah, the points usually replace a hit like that, Hudson. Come on, guys, sign your cards. Just bad, bad being a bad pen pal. They got the new Rams logo on these. CD Lamb to ninety nine. It looks terrible. I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. It's pretty bad. It looks like the char every time I see it, I think, oh, for the Chargers. I was like, oh, nope. I guess I just have to think of the Chargers as a lightning bolt. Right? You kind of breeze by that. It kind of looks like LA Chargers. Looks yeah, like a big I get it, C. But it's, you know, kind of like a, a blend of retro and new. I don't know, but look at all, look at even the Bengals logo looks better. Saints logo looks better. Well, yeah, those are Hallmark logos. That logo doesn't can't, uh, can't, can't use that logo anymore. Clinton Portis, swagger dual relic for the Washington football team. I am Mr. Mike Daddy. I'm ready for the weekend. I think the, uh, the pug and I are going to have a photo shoot for a cutout at Dodger Stadium before the season gets canceled. So I can get it authenticated by MLB. There's LaVisca Chenault Jr. Two out of 25. That is for the Jaguars. Cat Team Mojo for Colton. We got Jake from State Farm to seven ninety nine, KJ Hill die cut, 24, 21 out of twenty four, for the Chargers. I'm trying to catch as much much of the numbered cards as possible. If I miss any, our shipping team will. We'll spot them and ship them for you. That's the 99, that die cut right there. All right, and there's Joey B. 110 to 399. Joe Burrow for the Bengals. That will be for Nancy. So we're halfway through this half case break. We've got random teams available in the store for Elite. And that's the second half of the case. So if you want to get that knocked out, we can get that done tonight as well. All right, so here are the final three boxes. Good luck, everybody. There's Minka Fitzpatrick to 99. And we got Derrick Henry, 349, Spellbound. That, this would be a fun set to, to build, those last name sets. Juju Smith-Schuster to 399. Alvin Kamara to 59. 
And Lynn Bowden Jr. The exciting Lynn Bowden Jr. I don't know what role he's going to play for my Raiders. Tony's Raiders too. There you go, Tony. But a dynamic playmaker. If he's ahead of schedule, you might see him pass the ball, run the ball, line up as a receiver. Whoa! Whoa, Nick Jaspi says he's going to play left left bench. Left out, maybe? Left out? I hope not. Field Vision, Christian McCaffrey, Panthers. I think maybe Lynn Boundary may, may need a little more time to marinate before he's out there, but pretty excited about him. I like these playing card cards. I think the, this is a fun little design right here. And there's Lynn Bowden Jr. again. Wow, there he is passing the ball. Look at that. What can't he do? 30 out of 49. He could probably be on special teams. He could probably play defense if he wanted to. So Tony, a pen pals autograph and a turn of the century autograph. I think they're going to have him start as a running back is what I'm hearing. But he can do some other stuff too. Some trick plays, I'm sure John Gruden building some trick plays. Maybe, I don't know, who knows what's gonna happen. It'll be fun. Sure, yeah. Lynn Bowden Jr. can do it all, Hudson. He can park cars, sell pretzels, be in their concession stands. Attendant in the uh, in the bathroom too, and score touchdowns. Sure, you can do it all. You can maybe maybe call some plays too. Assistant GM to Mike Mayock. You can work on that. Throw some passes for touchdowns. Catch some touchdowns. And maybe sell some season tickets for the new stadium. Hey, everything. He's that kind of guy. He's just like, hey, what needs to be done here? I'll help out. Ladanian Tomlinson. That'll go to the Chargers, Sam Rail. Clyde Edwards Hilaire to 49. He can do it all. Lynn Bowden can do it all. There's Lamar Jackson spellbound. Terry McLaurin right here. Scary Terry McLaurin? I don't know. He's a pretty good pass catcher. Leonard Fournette to 99. We see some Jets back there. Is that, is that the Jets oval? Flipped around? What does that mean? Is that Pen Pal's autograph maybe? Juju Smith-Schuster to 49. It is James Morgan. Pen Pals autograph. The Darnold backup? Yeah, Eric, every every uh, every Kentucky fan, when they find out I'm a Raiders guy, says, oh, Lynn Bowden Jr., you're going to love him. So hopefully he'll he'll be ready for NFL play sooner rather than later. My assumption is, like I said, like I was saying before, I think they're gonna John Gruden's gonna have him line up his running back more often, and then kind of go from there and evolve his position from there. Wow, you think James Morgan could get a shot this year? Says Hudson fan. Interesting. There's Joey B for Nancy and the Bengals. All right, goes to Nancy and the Bengals. Right, I think Gruden's going to love that versatility. We got Jaguars, Josh Allen, primary colors relic. 
That is for Colton Carver. Cat Team Mojo. <laughs> Something like Luke Falk did have a chance last year. I don't know. I I I'm I think we gotta give Sam Darnold another another healthy year. I think the mono thing kind of derailed the beginning of his career and then he just never got on track all season. Although they they, they finished with a decent record, didn't they? Last second half was pretty good. But I don't know. I I think he still needs there's Jonathan Taylor for the Blue Horseshoes, 23 out of 149. I think Sam Darnold deserves a, another full shot. A non-mono. Non <laughs> maybe maybe he'll, he'll be watching who he smooches over the summer. All right, final box. Thanks again to Nick for ripping these boxes open, making this break go lightning fast. Helps us get to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. We got Van Jefferson to 149. I keep wanting to say Van Morrison, but that's, that's not. It's Van Jefferson. He's got a nice auto, good penmanship. Hudson fan saying he hasn't proved, proven he can't stay healthy, but I mean, what are you gonna do? You, you you're smooching some chick at the club, and you get mono. What's what are you gonna do? You can't blame him for that. It's not like he put himself in harm's. Well, he did, but not it's not like he put himself in harm's way on the football field. Another Tom Brady right there. All of those, I'm sure, will add up. I think it's only his second set where he's in a Buccaneers uniform. It was Jalen Ragor to 399. Maybe Lewinitz was his first one. I don't know. Well, hey, buy low on James Morgan if you're with, uh, if you're with Hudson on that. Oh, numbered Tom Brady. To 88. And Jonathan, another Jonathan Taylor, on card, this time an on card autograph going to the Blue Horseshoe, Scott Goodman with the Colts. Last little stack here. Matthew Stafford to 399. Eno Benjamin to 799. Lamar Jackson. And Kyler Murray, David Ross. The uh, Cubs manager getting in on the action. Thanks, Dave. With the Arizona football Cardinals. That's our last hit of the break. There's Gurley in his Falcons gear. Jason Kelsey. How's he joining breaks? Are the Cubs playing right now? Yeah, probably. David Ross. No, he must have bought this spot earlier, though. The Cardinals were sold out a while ago. Yeah. Cubs are... Cubs are not playing today, so I think I think he's I think he's okay. <laughs> Mike McCarthy also joins breaks too, ladies and gentlemen. Look out for his name as well. I mean, but season hasn't started for him yet. All right, that was, that was bigger team. Four. No, he's he's confirmed not to be that, that Christian dude. Yeah, that's what he wants you to think. Oh right, that's what that's what Christian wants us to think. Here's a quick little recap, ladies and gentlemen. There's James Morgan right there. A couple Lynn Bowden Juniors. Chase Young was nice. Some Brady's. There you have it. All right, let's give away those points and these these positions right here. Sam, you think it was an overall pretty bad case? I think the people who hit probably would disagree with that. 
always a bad case when you don't hit. We'll get him next time, though, Sam. All right. So we got David down to Jerry and the Redskins. And let's go position one, two, three, and four. I didn't actually, I didn't remember the first half, so I actually don't know what the overall case is. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it three times. Um, let's do these first. One, two, and three. So position four, we'll get those. One, two, three, four. So all the cards there, position four, we'll get it. 600 points. Three times, name on top after three. One, two, and three. After three times, name on top. EA was 600. I don't think I called your name all break, Eric. So EA, 600 point consolation prize going your way. Thanks for watching, everybody. We've got a half case random team break in the store. Check that out, jazpiecasebreaks.com. That's from a completely different case, so let's check out what's in there. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.